Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the flight deck of the Airbus 380, my favorite aircraft. Usually we start with loading the flight management computer and we put the route. So let's do a flight today from Dubai to Heathrow and we're going to put a, an altitude of 38,000 feet. As soon as I do that, you will see that the flight line is printed here on what we call the navigation display. After I do that, we usually wait for the passenger to get on board, load their bags, put the fuel on, and we get ready for push back of the aircraft and start the engines. Starting the engines, we put the fuel pumps on. We have the ignition start, like your key in the car, basically. And we select the engine masters from the off to the on positions. As you can see here, we have four of them. As soon as I put the engine masters on, the computer in the 380, which controls the engines, controls the air and the fuel ratio to give me a successful engine start. As soon as that all get done, we're ready to move with our own power. We you do that, controlling by the thrust levers here, which will create enough thrust to move the aircraft. On the ground, we look outside as our primary reference to navigate. Also, we have extra navigation aids. For example, the onboard airport navigation system, which will show me the taxiways and the runway. Also, in the 380, we have uh, two cameras. We have a camera on the top of the radar and the camera to show me the nose gear. So when we start taxiing in a tight taxiways, this is a very good aid for us. Just before we take off, we usually also calculate our performance because it depends on the aircraft weight and the condition of the airport and the weather. The speed which we take off and the thrust we use, it changes. For that, we have an app called the Takeoff Performance. We put the airport, we put the runway, the conditions, the takeoff weight, and it will calculate the performance for us. When we get those performance figures, we put them on the box here. As soon as we put them and we select the appropriate high lift devices, which we call flaps and slas, which helps the aircraft fly at lower speeds. So when we take off, this will be extended. As soon as we take off, we put the gear up and we extend the flaps. But now, because I showed you the table, which we not only use for eating, also, as you can see, we use it to find our takeoff performance, also some of the charts. So where is our control column? We don't have one, not in the Airbus fly-by-wire. We have a side stick. On the side stick, as we take off, we do a little back, back movement on the side stick and the aircraft flies in the air. The beauty of the side stick, it has also automatic trim. So I don't need to trim to keep the position of the flight control surface in that attitude. I can do that, the aircraft will memorize it and keep it steady and stable. And the 380 is probably the most stable aircraft these days commercially. So after we do that and the aircraft is flying safely, and we're comfortable, we engage the autopilot. If everything goes according to plan, basically the aircraft should follow the plan we put from Dubai all the way to Heathrow. That's laterally navigations and vertically with the altitude too. We can change the altitude by selection here. If we want to change our heading, we can give the autopilot command to change the heading. 
and if we want to control a specific speed we can control it also here through the autopilot when we arrive into Heathrow or the destination we would like to go we start slowing speed so we start extending the flaps all the way down and if you are good speeds also somewhere on the just before landing we put the gear down and then comes that red button you saw earlier on it's the disengagement of the autopilot so as soon as uh, I disengage the autopilot I start looking using my instruments and outside to fly the aircraft and land it safely when we land we'll be still high speed so we'll use the thrust reversers to disengage also we have an auto brake system which we can select something called brake to vacate which is unique for the 380 probably the newer generation of the Airbus aircraft too for this one you can see if I select a runway and then I go I want to go off of the runway from here by selecting the brake to vacate the aircraft will decelerate automatically to give you enough or slow speed to vacate the runway from that exit which is very comfortable for the passengers and it's very good for maintenance where on the brake system that's briefly we just did a brief flight from Dubai to Heathrow and we decelerated and we stopped I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again